Hello. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm very excited to get back to this game. It has been a hot minute since I've streamed. You know those, you know those work weeks where you have so much going on that like when you clock out, you just want to like curl up in bed like a potato and just like that's where you spend the rest of the day. That is that has been my last week. So I have taken a couple of days off of streaming and then this coming week I'm actually gonna be on vacation, which normally would mean I would be streaming more. However, uh, I'm gonna be traveling a smidgen, so I won't be streaming very much. Um, but next weekend I'll probably be back on, but I was very excited to get back at least for today. Garisvaldi, hello. Clocked out for the last time. You hope on March 1st. What do you mean? Uh, are you, um, do you work for yourself or doing something else? What do you have going on? Oh, you got laid off. I'm so sorry. That's, that is the, the like worst answer that could have been, um, well, I, I hope you find something better soon. Yeah, that's no fun. I've been very, very lucky that I've been able to continue working throughout the the pandemic, but I know that very, very many people were not nearly as fortunate as I was. I'm going to turn down my volume just a smidgen. It looks like I'm a little loud. I don't want, want you guys to get, like, crackly voice... You cashed out your 401k or trying to do the pro streamer thing when things open up. Uh, it's safer vending at conventions. I used to vend at conventions, actually. I, um, I used to run a small business full-time selling art, which, uh, in, in the, um, about me section, there's, like, an art thing where it has, like, some of the art that I used to make. And I would go to cons and I would sell stuff, um... And it was it was a lot of fun. It was very this rewarding. Like it was the only part of the house I recognize. It was challenging work, but it felt worth it. Erected. We're helping. We're putting stuff away. Belonged to her mother. Thankfully survived the break-in. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. You craft wood, leather, paper craft, and cosplay. That's awesome. Yeah, I mostly did sewing. I did some cosplay. Um, leather working was something I was always kind of adjacent to, but I never really got into myself. But I, I respect the craftsmanship a lot um rivals the national recording registry for certain genres I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better <laughs> for records versus digital that's funny I was just having that conversation with someone the other day that um they asked me if I thought vinyl sounded better, and I was like, I don't know if I've ever really, like, noticed a difference. But they were like, you've probably never, you've only listened to old vinyls, not, not, like, new modern ones. Him. Oh, it's us. Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. Ah, uh, that's right. I remember where we left off. She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. Cold drinks are for parties? What? Used to build aircraft parts, a lot of parallels to other crafting. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I can I can imagine that there there would be a lot Even of overlap. When he up, Nick always found the right words. Yeah, I, I used to make so much art. Um, and that was just like I mentioned my full time job. But these days I just like 
can't really get myself to do it. I don't know. I like burnt myself out on crafting and I've kind of moved on to just doing other things. I think I'm the type of person that's interests um, shift very frequently. It's hard for me to stick with any one thing for too long, but uh, good. I, I wish you a lot of luck because like I said, vending and, and things at conventions like that can be super Dennis rewarding. Smooth as always, um, Nick. Definitely throw your art in our Discord. We have an art channel. So if you ever want to um, want to join and and throw some stuff in there. We've got our Discord. I don't know if you're already in there. It's Bridge, hello! Bridge, how are you doing today? Concerts. Sorry about yesterday, you're right. I have been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. Uh, you don't have to forgive me, but if you'd like to invite me to a concert, I'll just leave these two here. P.S. There might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Paper craft can be great for complex pieces. Uh, can stiffen it with resin and fiberglass powder. Cool. Doing good praying for good weather. Oh, yeah, no kidding. I didn't even think about that for this weekend. I was like, oh, yeah, hurricane coming in. Mm -hmm. And then I forgot, like, oh, I've got plans. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. You know what? If we just don't worry about it, it'll be great. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of or, a Or, hello. Sunday might get messed up. <laughs> uh, closet search through. I like the Christmas lights above the kitchen. Let's go in the pantry. How you solve all your life she problems? Yeah, keeps the drinks in the pantry. That's future Bridges' while, problem. Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Orc, how are you doing tonight? Congratulations on it being Friday. Happy Friday. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. Good luck, future bridge. I don't even know that guy. <laughs> that's like, that's like, I sabotage my future self all the time. I'm like, those dishes, future Rachel is going to be really on top of it. Yeah. And then I wake up the next morning and I'm like, why would I do this to myself? <laughs> oh, I get to choose one of these. All right. Chocolate drink whiskey lime juice all right so so this girl just had her house broken into you guys are we going i i don't know it's a toss-up between chocolate milk and whiskey those are both a chocolate is a bit more of a comforting thing for me dude keeps chocolate milk in the cabinet right like this isn't a refrigerated cabinet and like hazelnut milk and almond milk just like in a drawer <laughs> Uh, so those have got to be spoiled, right? So we should go with the whiskey. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Hmm. Can we, like, put lime juice in the whiskey or something? Or are we just giving her, like, straight whiskey? You know what? That's fine. It's fine. Can't make things worse. Under normal circumstances, I'd go for chocolate milk, but if it's in a cabinet, I'll stick with the whiskey. That's what I'm saying. What are we... Th like, I, I don't know. That's... Even, like, soy milk that's shelf-stable when it's sealed, I'm, I'm like, if it's not in the fridge, I'm, I'm a little uneasy about it. I don't know. What is... Where, where is the broken window? Is this the blind that's making all this noise? Finally, there. All right. What are you waiting for? Bring it to her already. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. 
Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. I was kind of hoping that we could like keep up this trend of our character just being like a total jerk and just immediately like go upstairs and like completely ignore her. Like we're already like messing around in the kitchen and touching everything and like moving her things around and uh that that would be kind of funny if we could like lean into that a lot. I don't I don't know if we really can. I don't know if the parameters of the game will allow for it. Oh, we can go into our mind palace. Anna Got some would medical bills. The house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just try ignoring her and see if anything happens. Do everything else first. Dear Miss Miller, my dad says writing thank you letters is what you do when someone is very nice, so I hope you like mine. Uh, I would like to thank you very, very much for how you wrote about me. I don't know why you thought my drawing was worth talking about over the others, but it was very, very nice of you to talk about it. My dad put your article on the fridge and circled my name. I'm kind of scared some people might have gone and seen it um, and been disappointed, but maybe not. If I ever win another art contest, I will tell you. Sincerely, Timothy Brown. That's cute. New perspective. And that's the article. That's cute. The placeholder poster. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. And Orc, you said you're tired, but glad work is over. Yeah, don't even think about past Orc. Just think about future Orc not being at work. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. I guess the takeaway from this stream is don't worry about the future. Don't worry in the past. Just be in the present. <laughs> Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Uh, it won't let me read it. It's a high number. We know that much. <laughs> Did you see that it was, like, elevated, like his hands weren't touching the desk? <laughs> also, wh what do we do with that drink? Did we just, like, put it in our pocket? We're just walking around with it. Got some, like, whiskey in our pants. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Oh my god. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. No wonder they broke up. What jerk. Whiskey in Your Pants is an album title. I could see it. I could see it. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Mm-hmm. The more we learn about Sam, the more I'm like, he's a dick. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. Here, might take the edge off. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just, this is just so fucked. Nick, my house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just a lot. I, I used to feel safe here and now Sorry, I just... 
Thanks, Sam. Man, I can't imagine like living somewhere right. after a break-in like that. It, I'd have to move. That would be like way too scary. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. It's gonna be okay. It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. This whole thing is a mess. The words were fine, the inflection it's been a was mess not. For a while. Like everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. <laughs> What a burn. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. Uh, well, definitely not the right one. Um, we're both to blame. Sounds dismissive. I deserve that. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? What happens if we ask our inner Face self? It, Sam, if you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. <laughs> uh, I didn't listen to you. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It Where would this guy be without me? Let's be honest. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone to truly share my life to make compromises and all that uh it wasn't doomed it wasn't your fault she's feeling guilty about what happened she shouldn't bear that burden alone Man, our subconscious is like the is like the go to guy. He's like the smart one. They should like just switch places. <laughs> I I think that the um his his subconscious and and his actual actions are different, completely different characters. Like I know it's being portrayed that way, but uh it's they're so their personalities are so drastically different that it they feel like different people. Uh, it wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're going to find out who killed him. 
I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and, well, we'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. I, I still think she's being sure like I'm way too crying and all that. Way too understanding Let's regarding finding us standing over a dead body. And like agreeing not to call the police. That's like a lot. That was a nice, very subtle load. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. Not what Anna needed. At least that's what it looked like. It looked like it was loading in the next part of the house. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Joan's things have been fully searched. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Obviously a kid's desk, but still ransacked. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. I hope they mean bought for her. <laughs> Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Mind Palace, let's go. I wonder if they got the idea from the Mind Palace before or after Sherlock. Or at least for calling it a Mind Palace. I don't know how common that phrasing was prior to the Sherlock series. It may have been a thing, but I had never heard it before. Come on, work, you piece of chunk. No, you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. <laughs> Some incentive there. Oh, all right. Interesting. All right. So I guess that wasn't the kids room. Ransack the bathroom? Twin toothbrushes. Nick was very moved in. Watch your back. A week wasn't bad enough already. Yikes. It. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it. Why is it so dark in here? I open the windows? All their stuff is still there. 
bed. It's not even the same one. Everything this changes. Feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Laptop. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nix? Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? All right, that's sketchy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, ow. Man, you mean to tell me that we went into the house and just sat there? We didn't like do a quick sweep to make sure no one was there? Sam. Sam. Who was that? Sam. Are you okay? Uh, I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird, loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? And the backup he files? Needs Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. He said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. I'm curious about, like, whatever he found. Like, whatever he was researching. Like, I'm definitely interested. Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Okay. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm very curious to see where this goes. I'm also surprised at the length of the episodes. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't episodic. I don't know. All their games are episodic, so I think it would be strange if they suddenly weren't, but... Or at least this one wasn't. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Sam, thank you for the recap of the last 15 minutes. Appreciate it. I don't know why I'm being so snarky. I don't know. I think I'm just not sold on this game yet. I remember yet. teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. I feel like the... It's hard not to compare this to the other Life is Strange games, but even comparing this to Tell Me Why, I feel like that story had a lot more dimension than this one. Whereas this one, it's like it's a mystery and we're trying to solve the mystery. But our character has just proven over and over again that they're pretty selfish um, and that... Uh, they're, they're like the suspense, the suspension of disbelief is like on thin ice because of how much slack he's getting from, um, from Anna. Like just, 
immediately taking his side and, and understanding that like there's he he's not suspicious at all. Even though he's like been gone for two years, comes back, gets into into a fight, and then that guy turns up dead. Like that's that's suspicious. Like it it shouldn't be ruled out right away. But we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. I do like this kind of mind palace meditation um, part part of the game. Like, I hesitate to call it a mechanic because you don't get to choose when it happens, really. And then it's just a little bit of cinematic you know, stuff. Fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a uh, bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Uh, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I tried to go fishing and we had worms for bait and I like refused to touch them. I like just didn't want to. And so like we'd try like hooking the, hooking the worm like on the ground like with just the hook <laughs> i did not catch anything and uh never really went back to fishing ever since then i wanted to go around the outside but it wouldn't let me bug muley how did you does my mom know does your mom know what what is this mom doesn't know good i've decided to leave town whoa Bug, that's... this is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. Well, we're gonna stop you. No you way. can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. How old is this kid? Oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Uh, no, we're not going to say you should tell your mom because this would be a problem with mom. Let's ask if everything's is there okay. wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, Oof. that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Uh, now? What? Look, not later? I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. This this kid is like what, 10, 12? Like Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it, and never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on, but he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares.
I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. Oh, so I'm mistaken and you did question people? Or did you just say all those dumb things adults say that don't mean anything? They wouldn't have told me anything interesting. Or you were just like them. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. I don't blame her at all. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? Uh, I don't like any of these. You can be a journalist. Uh, uh. Why, why did our subconscious be like, peace, nah, I'm not gonna help you out on this one. It's on you. <laughs> Come on. Um, something with insects. I'm not into that. Journalists doesn't sound good either because everybody is a journalist in this town. So it's like, you could be just like everyone else. Um, so I guess something with insects just to be a little different? You like insects. How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs. You remember? Oh, okay, there we go, yeah. we did it. Bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. There we go. It won't go. be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth. For once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. If this, if this game gives us the option to let her go, All right, threaten to call Kathy or tell her the truth about Nick. Chat, fuck. <laughs> this sucks. These options both suck. Um, I don't even know what I would do in this situation. I would probably call Kathy or just bring her to Kathy uh, and be like, yo, you can't, you, you just, you just can't, you just, you just can't. Telling her the truth about Nick sounds super irresponsible also. Which I kind of hate, but I, I think we have to go with our subconscious here. I just, this, this seems irresponsible. This seems mean, but the right thing to do. I think we should do it. I think we should do it. I'll call your mother. What? Don't. I'll call her right now. Don't. You can't just run away. Fine. I'll go home. Don't call her. It's for your own good, Bug. It's too dangerous for you out there. Whatever. You're just like everyone else. Ooh, harsh. Yeah, well. But fair. Sorry, Bug. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town. Let's see I was... if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. That was rough. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready to go bag to protect it. Can you imagine if there was like an option that she would just leave? <laughs>
This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. This is where he kept the no, rods no, he'd loan out. No, no, I already clicked out. that one. So what's no. his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Okay, all right. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. All right, let's see. If I was a key, where would I hide? Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Ah, uh, stretched the fish. Cheater. Oh, we can we can sit. Bench. We'll have a good bench mechanic. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. I, I always really liked these kind of cinematic moments in games where they just kind of let you sit with the moment for a minute. Just kind of nice. Especially with these sound effects. Cool. I like the design and everything of this game a lot. Like, there's been a lot of things I enjoy. Let's see. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Just all F four after that pun. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it. Range. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. A note. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Remember, caterpillar. Can we take that with us? Calendar. Has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. D wants to meet. 
Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. But never at home, and always locked up. Anything else that we missed? Journal article. Uh, to do uh, one small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Anna Miller uh, interviewing Tyler a man of few words in his mid-20s and heavily tattooed about the place he lives and why he's there it's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket his hands however are not shaking because of the cold this is his seventh relapse on his second relapse he lost his girlfriend on his fourth his family the one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, but was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. It's not like I wanted to hurt them, I just needed money, and I felt so bad that I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure that there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him, but he whooped my ass, beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back, I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. Oh, this is long. Um, Linet, uh, Brenham, 52, graying hair, looks on with compassionate eyes. Linet is one of, uh, is the one that owns the land set and sets the rules. Uh, she's judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes. The place is called the Cove. When a local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work and some of them had no place to go. Drugs, crimes... Uh, and made them all fall into patterns. Desperate people often fall into and line, line it. Found some of them camping on, uh, camping out on her property. So it's like a, it's a place for people who are struggling. Okay. All right. I think I went through everything here. Not a whole lot to go off of. Oh, let us keep the notes. That's good. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. I'm curious about this note more. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. Remember calculator. I just noticed that some things are like highlighted. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. I mean, it sounds like we should go there. If D met Nick on the day yeah. he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Uh... I feel like we've seen everything that we were supposed to. Should we just leave? Will it tell us that there's more to be found? I feel like it's going to tell us there's more to do, and then it'll load in the next cutscene rather than us just moving around. Anything else to interact with? An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts yeah, just outside we're... of Basswood. And that just says the same thing. All right, so let's take a look around and see. 
if there's anything here that kind of looks like back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Growth Man, chart. Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. Did any of you guys a have a grow uh, like a, a height chart when you were growing up? Think it'll let us cross. All right, let's go around this side. Let's go back over to where we came from because I we kind of looked at everything that we were supposed to that I'm that I'm aware of that I found anyways. We'll walk to the cove from here. How open world is this game? Let's find out. Oh, not very. <laughs> All right, game, what do you want us to do? What's up? What are we doing? There is like a whole second floor here. I wonder how we get up there. Is there like a ladder that I missed? No. No. There's definitely just, like, one tiny piece of information that we've missed. Inspect. Yeah, that's it. This is what we needed. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Oh, maybe I have to... There we go. Unlock. Remember... Caterpillar. Uh, how do I go back? I want to look at that note again. Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint line around the shack. Yeah. Uh Is this supposed to be like what color a caterpillar is? Is there a picture of a caterpillar around? Oh, there it is. Okay, so blue, red, green, blue, red, yellow. I'm definitely writing this down. Uh, blue, red, green, blue, red, yellow. Also, I just, man, I feel, I feel good about that. <laughs> so it's gonna be, uh, left, right, uh, left, right, down, left, right, up. All right, left, right, down, left, right. Doesn't work. What? There must be something I'm missing. Did I plug it in wrong? Let's try it again. Left, right, down, left, right. Nope, that wasn't it. Ugh. We could try doing it backwards. Hey, Seamus, how are you doing? Welcome in. Let's try backwards. Up, right, left, down, right. Only a few more hundred combinations to go. Ah! Right, left. 
down. Right. Left. Well, I doubt I'm just gonna guess it. I'm not guessing it. Uh, let's start with just the second number. So there's six segments to that caterpillar, and there it's a five combination. So. Let's oh my god! You just here. had to skip the head. <laughs> skip the first one. Rude. Rude. Cash. That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. More than he could make in a decade? How much money are we talking? That doesn't look like several hundred thousand. Maybe he was unemployed and that's the joke. Drugs. Opioids. From D? From Nick, D. Are you looking into drug trafficking? Files. Files. Nick was gathering at the cove. And that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's check out these files. Richard Steinfeld. Twitchy even when sober, high, strong, and obviously disliked by the Cove, asked not to be named in Anna's article because of his father, who runs a shipping company. Smarter than he looks, or dumb as he acts? Still hard to say. Both. Still using? Yes. Who's the dealer? Uh, Tyler, Linet, JR, Kyla, Dickie, Richard. Uh, Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Find out who the supplier is. So, sounds like Dickie. It's gonna be it. Tyler sees himself as Cove's protector, very defensive of Linet. Tyler's interview with Anna was heartbreaking. Um, he was bad off, so in uh, so bad in fact that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next time I visited the Cove. He certainly won't have been the first member of the group to be claimed by an OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive, been in and out of jail most of his life, usually for assault. Don't antagonize. Uh, clean since the interview. Where did he get his drugs? Sticky. Keeps asking about Anna into cooking. It's like such a random fact at the very end of that end there. Uh, interesting. Things that are crossed off aren't shown on the, uh, uh, in the text. But this is, like, just a little bit too hard to read without zooming in more. Um, interviewed by Anna, but didn't make it into the article late 30s. Not personable, X minor. JR has been living on the road, working whenever he can as a handyman, and when he came to Basswood, a minor. Um, after the mine closed, he was arrested for drug possession, staying at the cove now that he's out. Uh, didn't have to go anywhere, didn't have anywhere else to go. Keeps to himself, trying to get clean, it's, but it's an ongoing process from the Midwest. Took up smoking, trying to replace other habits with less bad ones. It hasn't worked. Justin uh, Reynolds. Reynolds? Reynolds. Collects hubcaps. <laughs> Has a Winchester in his trunk. Uh, used to living in his truck. Truck. Uh, rolls his own cigarettes, taught me how, still uses occasionally. Loves camo. What was the date of the... If D met Nick on the day he died, what, could what be was the, the date of that? Alive. Uh, but just show me what the date is. Alright, that must not be the, the clue, right? Seamus, how are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. So that was, that, it looks like it was on April 2nd. Oh, 
Still second. I keep seeing like different dates, but none of them are like super relevant. Like, why is it April and then all these are January? Um, doing well giving your youngest a bath. Oh, gotcha. Well, I hope it goes smoothly and and not too much screaming. <laughs> it doesn't match. Nothing suggests that this is D. Oh, so D is one of these people, I see. I thought it was a separate person. So one of these is the drug supplier. Is it just gonna, like, tell me if I pick? Ooh. There we go. Oh, almost. Come on. Come on. Richard, a.k.a. Dickie, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. That works for me. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. <laughs> sure, it will be crazy always is. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to drag her into this, but I guess why not? All right, we're going. Let's do this. Um, so totally, totally different than like a human, human being. But when uh, I had my last cat a couple of years ago, she was like pretty elderly. Um, and so I'd have to like bathe her. And it was always, like, crazy. That poor cat was, like, so miserable but couldn't really do anything about it, you know? Um, just, just, just screaming. Just screaming in the bath. Just, please let me out of here. I'm gonna die. Um. Best took my statement about the break-in. She didn't mention you. It won't be long before someone finds Dennis. Then they'll be looking for me. We need to stay focused on tracking down Dickie. He was Nick's informant, and he's our only lead. I owe it to Joan to find the truth. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What the are you two doing? Woman. The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane person does. Oh, that was interesting. We could ignore her. We handle finding Dickie? Um, doesn't sound like fun at all. It's funny, like, reflecting back on it, like, it was definitely never fun whenever I had to give that cat a bath. Like, she was very well behaved as far as a cat in the bath goes, you know? But now, like, now that she's been gone for a couple years, I'm like, oh, I kind of miss it. I don't know. I just miss the cat. That's really, that's the takeaway here, is that I miss the cat. Um, play it by ear. You and I are going to figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful. Of That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Really? <laughs> I just get so angry that 
someone did this. <laughs> Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul That's has really been funny. stolen. We need to find out who did this. I just didn't expect that I need that to at take all. back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. I, I do think it's funny that we asked her to, to take us to this place, but we're driving. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. It's like we went and picked her up and then we're like, okay, I need you to, to map this for me. Um, They won't get away with it? It's the knowing sure. they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting... That's not fair. Shut up. Sam! I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Wow. Don't, this That's actually kind of interesting. This out on me. So you're just going to keep telling me off? Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. You'll be back in a bit. Right. Good luck. Right. right. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> I can't get over how funny that was when we just like interrupted ourselves, but but actually just like yelled at her by accident. It was pretty funny. It makes me wonder if they're trying to portray um, Sam as having multiple personalities. Like if that's kind of the angle that they're going for. Like like if he has some sort of like mental disability. But I'm but I'm not sure. So I've been really hesitant to say that. Because I, I don't know, I didn't want to like float that suspicion there unless that's what like the game was really strongly saying, but I'm starting to think it. We'll see. Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment. No, let's let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? This is not a uh, really safe place for us to be, I don't think. Um... I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him, or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the call on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Solid advice. All right, I'm gonna have a really quick, um, a uh, really quick bio break. I'll be back in two minutes. Just give us a pause.
And we're back. All right. Let's... Whoa! That was weird. Went out of bounds and it... It booted us. Unknown woman. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you Jeez. have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. Tried to talk to her or not. I'm Kayla. What do you want? Just like make a mess. Uh Kayla. You know Ethan? Yeah, I knew him. You're his sister, right? I was. So you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. <laughs> Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. Oh, we can totally just go into her place. This is nice. Look at this. Yo, this is like pro camping. That's this cozy as hell. Camping in style. Wait, this is like, this is a legit tent though. Like it's, it's a tent. It's completely a tent, but it's got a little furnace, a little heater in here, a little wood stove. Rough but functional. Wood carving always kind of scared me as an artistic medium. Like I tried it a little bit in school, but the idea that like you could accidentally take too much away and then not put it back just like freaked me out. I don't know. I, I prefer mediums that have a little bit more flexibility. Like with sewing, if you if you cut too much, you can always cut a new piece and then add it to whatever your project is. Tire swing must have been used by children. I, I kind of hope not. Looking around, I kind of hope that's not the case. Barbecue grill doesn't need electricity. Simple and practical. Lynette's mobile home looks ancient, probably lived in it most of her life. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It Maybe it was too easier. soon to butt in on this conversation. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That's not important. <laughs> that much is painfully obvious. That's That wasn't relevant at all. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Uh, I'll go maybe we'll Thanks circle for back. Me. Naturally. Something dramatic has happened. It's Dennis. I'm at the police station, so you can imagine it isn't the best conversation. Any chance you could come down here? Uh, let's not reply. We'll go ahead and leave him unread. Or unanswered. The clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. 
So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler. I don't think we'll talk to Tyler again. Tyler set himself up nicely. Are any of you uh, campers? Do you like going camping? I've gone like luxury camping is what I'll call it. Where like you're you're camping in a tent in the woods, but you've got you've you've got plumbing not too far away. Uh dear Ms. Reynolds, I regret to inform you that West Virginia Coal Inc. filed chapter seven bankruptcy. When was this? 2015. It's uh, getting laid off. It's unfortunate. But that was that was all Sam's fault. We can blame him. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Magazines mostly about firearms. Former miner. That's sad. He used to be a miner, but then lost his job and then lost his home. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Heavy bag improves hand eye coordination. Unknown man. Hey, man. Sup? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR. I'm. Wait. You're that fucking reporter. I was. Yeah. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Ah, uh, sorry, man. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. Get to the point. I'm just looking for Dickie. And you think I'll snitch? Get the fuck out of here. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. <laughs> yeah, th that guy was not gonna help us as soon as he saw who we were. No way. Not even a point in asking. Um, but maybe we can go up? I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. What? He's here somewhere. What? Let me up. Let me go up. Dickie could be here. I need to be sure. Every second counts. But not up there, apparently, because we can't go up there. Can we go around this way? Nope. Got some invisible wall. Possible hideout. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Yeah, I get you. I get it. Can we go up there? I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. What? He's here somewhere. Do you, you see this? They're like, there's there's this motorhome up here, and then there's this one up here, but you you can't look around. That that'd be too easy. And there's that one up there too. Dickie could but be here. But it's gonna say the same thing. I need to be sure. Every second counts. All right, let's talk to this guy again. Off, Is there anything in here that we can like interact with to maybe start a conversation? Not that I'm seeing. Hunting knife. Hope's flag. They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. He 
Yeah, I was I wasn't expecting like a um Let me try talking to Tyler again. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some I was expecting more that, of yeah. like a single house huh. that's like shared. Why did you end up here? How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn <laughs> business. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you are not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? <laughs> Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dicky is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it. He's in a trailer. Not a tent. So Dicky is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dicky's got to be in one of these places. So not that one. Maybe that one. Could be that one. I told you to buzz off, Peckerwood. All right, which one do we want to do? We could do that one. Or that one. They're both trailers. Let's maybe try talking to her again. What do you want now? You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. <laughs> I'm creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else. That's as close to real magic as we can get. You said you weren't Ethan's sister anymore. How come? He tried to make every decision in my life. Same as the rest of my old family. Though Ethan was by far the most suffocating. I didn't like who I was when I was around him. I didn't like either of us. So you two don't ever talk to each other anymore? Not really. Well, the last time we did, I ended up coming here. Maybe was his sister was harsh. You can tell him we've talked, if you gotta. It's probably time I leave you alone. Hey, you're probably right. All right. I wonder if that's Oh, like it could be that one or it could be that one. Morbid mongoose, hello. Uh It's not that. Could be the one in the back, I guess. Mongoose, how are you doing tonight? Happy Friday. Ah, oh, there's that one. I'm more interested in the one with the lights. Let's let's just do it. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. Well, here's hoping. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here I have you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Uh, just want to talk. Look, I just want to talk to the guy who lives right over there. I don't give a shit what you want. Back the fuck hey, off. Hey, man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. All right, we'll try the ask other one. Two if I want to reach Dickie, I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. 
They'd have their backs oh god, are we gonna set it on fire? Are we gonna be a right huge away. monster? The cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Oh my god. I I can't set her camp on fire. That sounds so horrible. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Interesting. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. Just realized Twitch muted itself and couldn't figure out what happened to your audio. Oh, no worries. That happens to me all the time. I like. So I, I often lurk in like multiple streams when I'm watching, uh, watching a stream. And so you want to like mute the tab instead of the video, because if you mute the video, it doesn't count as someone watching, I think. Um, and so I would sometimes like have one muted and not the other and be like so confused as to which one. Oh, I really, really, really hope that this isn't what we're going to have to do, but. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. I saw this picture in Ethan's bar, only intact. Guess I know who's been cut out. Uh, do you have any plans going on this weekend, Mongus? With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. Oh. Uh, just need to work out the exact details. I hate this part so much. Burn the statue. I don't want to, though. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, They'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. There are many other options. We're just... Refusing to even consider them. get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. We're monster. Uh, like the candle here is pretty obvious. All right, what would... Where would there be water? We got a sink there. Got a hose. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, She'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Going fencing tomorrow. Oh, that should be fun. Tomorrow I'm going rock climbing for the first time. Uh, bouldering, specifically. Uh, indoor bouldering. But I'm really looking forward to it.
Did we disconnect the hose? Did it just like do that or no? Not seeing a prompt for it. Unless it's around this other side. No, okay. But yeah, I'm on vacation now, so I've got the next whole week off, and it's gonna be marvelous. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go up to New Hampshire and become a potato. You did that not too long ago and your hands were killing you? Oh, I bet. I like, I know that I'm gonna, um, the, the, the wall is going to knock me. Am I supposed to like, no, okay. It's just checking that I wasn't like ready to move on or something with the R1 or L1 prompt. All right, where is the single thing that I need to click on that I'm missing? We got all this water. Oh, that's like the shower, I guess. She won't like how this goes down, but it's the only way. Uh, oh, wrong button. This button? Not that button. This button. Make sure the fire won't be put out too soon, but how? Uh... Now it lets me up here. And it won't let us up here, right? Yeah, it spins us around. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. No use. They what? won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. Yeah, man, I know, I know. We just have to no find use. stop they it. Won't let me anywhere near his trailer. He's trying to go over to the guy. Okay, okay. What am I missing? What? What am I missing? I feel like it would have something to do with like the shower and this like water bin but there's nothing to like disconnect here I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier oh Kinda my god really okay long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, 
It'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. All right, all right. I've got Ooh. everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. All right, M my lady. So little a bleak. <laughs> Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? Yeah, Mongoose, so the the TLDR of this story so it. far. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. I'll let him finish talking. What exactly are you planning? Distraction to get to Dicky. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. So the the TLDR is that there was a murder. And we're trying to solve it without getting framed ourselves. And to do that, we have to... The next step is to talk to the person that was the the last one to talk to um, the guy who was murdered. And that guy is hiding somewhere in this trailer park. So we have to talk to him. Uh... when to come out. Once alone or when the fire blazes? Uh, we'll come back to that one. Where to hide? Let's go with in the closet, I guess. I don't think that these matter that much. All right, and then we'll just come out. When the fire blazes sounds like the most logical one, but let's let's try it. seems so silly. Oh, alright. Well, that won't work. We'll hide behind the curtain. They'll definitely see us under the table. Uh, and we'll keep that. We'll keep everything else the same. Let's try it. Get seen. We'll look away when the fire flares. I'll risk being discovered then. Um, in that case, let's try once alone. 
Yeah, it is a neat mechanic. Um, the only thing that I don't love about it is it's very much like you just have to trial and error get things into the right spot. But it is kind of cool to like see everything play out with different options. I think that's really cool. Yeah, there we go. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dicky. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Think carefully. I'll only get one shot. All right, Sam, don't fuck this up. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. She then trusts trust him me. way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have to ruin the artwork though? still see it burning from here here's hoping this was the right house right yay it was oh shit shit what the hell i've been looking for you we need to talk oh no look i'm real sorry i clocked you and shit clock me you were the one that broke into anna's house you took something from nick's computer what was it where is it i didn't know what was gonna happen man i swear i'm a nobody all right I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like shake him up. a quote or something. I didn't know he was going to put so much together. I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to, or I was gonna be next. You've gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh, man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man. Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. Declan said he didn't mean to. She said it was an accident and shit. Oh, um, Nick. I didn't shit. No, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted. Man, he didn't. Hey, ass wife. Oh man, we got way more Shut information than I expected. Fire bug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Come on. You fucking coward! Show me give me my rifle! I was like, nah, we're done. We're we're peacing out of here. We got everything we need. 
We don't need to get our ass kicked too. Ooh, that was a lot of information. All right. So, of course, there's going to be some police corruption because, of course, um, that tracks, you know. I'm also convinced at this point that there are no chapters in this game, so I don't know how long it is, but we're... I feel like we're making some good progress. It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Where is this set? Is won't cut it. Oh, uh, Let's it's, it. um, we'll take him down. Or where was it? It was like Virginia? Stay out of this? Something like that? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, you'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. I think this is really interesting where we're constantly deciding who we're listening to. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. But also, like, if we cut him off. Stop it. Yeah, I'm we scold her. Other than trying to save your life, you're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. He's gonna you get in a car accident. Road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just, just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. Stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop. There's a turn. Stop. Stop. Sam, stop. Stop. Jeez. Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. Oh, we're gonna have a panic attack. Here we go. I do really like this this panic attack uh, uh, mechanic. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Uh. No! No! I'm losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Oh no, we lost our subconscious! Oh no! I'll come to you. What? I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Leave. Okay, do not freak out. I've been through the... Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. Question is, where does it lead? <laughs> oh, wood carvings. Ah. I wish there had been another way. At least we didn't burn her house down. That's what I thought was going to happen at first. There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's what? happening? It's eerie. Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. 
This is getting interesting. I wonder what's in store for me now. <laughs> what is this? The Stanley Parable? And I'm back to square one. Uh, uh, starting from the same position and looking at the same door. Always tackle a problem head on, of course. Hey. There's no running away from it. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Yo! Mark! Thank you so much for that resub! I really appreciate it. Thank you. How's your day going? Happy Friday. It's five months. Have I really been streaming for five months already? Feels like I just started. I don't need that right now. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Just give me a break. Nope. I give up. What? <laughs> yeah, happy Friday. Happy Friday. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. Streaming is a good way to feel the time pass. No one in this town does. It kind of is. Sometimes when I stream, it's just because I don't really have anything else going on in my evening or like I, in this case, I'm just like, I want it to be tomorrow. So we're going to stream for a couple hours. The, the hours will go by really quick. Otherwise, I just knew I was going to feel compelled to clean a lot. And I've already done a bunch of cleaning. Hey, all right, here's a path. They both deserve to be happy. Oh, did we find our path? Did we find the way out? Making progress? What? Is that? It's a turtle. Aw, it's bug. Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be. Than to be happy. Hmm. Here, I brought you something. The weird. It's so clear. Goal. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is, and that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. I feel so bad for this kid. This kid's been going through so much. 
Still need to clean and pack. No. I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Uh, but did some of that today, trying to decide if we should go back to it or settle down for the evening. What time is your flight? It's not until later in the afternoon, right? So you'll have some time in the morning. I'm like a, I don't know. I tend to, yeah, I tend to pack like a little bit later, I guess. Um, but it's also pretty Follow me. lower stakes for me. I just have to throw some clothes in a bag. <laughs> Less planning, I should say. I don't have to do that much. I'm just reach in my closet and grab a handful of things. I'm I have more to uh, prep for going to a wedding tomorrow, so that's what? I'm gonna have to like. Which one are you? Actually, make myself look like a human. But I'm actually really excited. I've never been to like a wedding Sam. as an adult. I've I've been to one like as a kid. Sam? 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 Sir? Sir, please, I've got a very interesting magazine that I think you would be interested in. I'd like to share it with you. What happens if I just keep walking this way? You and me, Sam, oh. we can do this. You and me, Sam. Sam. We can do this. Sam. Sam. Come with Sam. me. Where are you? My God. Sam. Come with me. Oh, there we go. Just had to keep following. You and me, Sam. We can do this. Man, like, sometimes I'll, like, refer to myself. Or, or, like, think to myself, but I never would use, like, my name. <laughs> Be like, I, Rachel. <laughs> uh, one of your coworkers has gone to, like, six weddings this summer. Oh, my God. Maybe I'm just not enough of an adult to have friends to get married. I feel like all of my friends either are already married or are not interested in getting married it's like one or the other i don't feel like i have very many friends that are like looking forward to getting engaged <laughs> sam put that away come on i don't want quick toss the ring make a joke if you don't manage to save face it's over if they're not married already that has to suck yeah Maybe. I mean, actually, I don't know. I'm like, I'm I'm a pretty like uh, hopeless romantic kind of person. So like, when I think of weddings, I'm just like, oh, weddings, oh. <laughs> Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. Uh, Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Uh. Uh. I think it's gonna be this one. So what happened here earlier is like in his past relationship, he uh, wasn't paying attention to to what Anna wanted and like proposed to try to save the relationship and that didn't go over very well and so they broke up. Uh, I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? <laughs> Subconscious is like, yeah, I did good, I did good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I did great. <laughs> 
pretty romantic yourself, but you wouldn't want all your friends to get married before you. I feel you. I feel you, Mark. Don't leave me, Lee. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Not that one. Don't like that one. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. This one. This one's easy. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. I'm gonna start thinking that whenever I'm like, yeah, I did good. I'm gonna think of myself standing in the corner, just like, yeah. Yeah. Proud of you. <laughs> You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Don't like that one. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. That one's okay. Just to be clear, we're not picking the best options here. We're trying to pick what his subconscious says based on previous dialogue. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Uh... I think it's gonna be this one. I'm sorry, I have to go. It's not because of you, though. It's me. These are like all things that he his subconscious has said I don't before. Don't go into it right now. Don't worry, we'll stay in touch. That's not the worst way no, to think. Not. Yeah, probably not. It's just a little silly when you think about it abstractly. Was that? Wait, no, we were wrong. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few, and he'll be fine. Damn it! We were on such a good streak. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I, I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back, no matter where you go. Sam, Sam, Sam. It always freaks me out when they do like the surround sound the with the headphones. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. Well, the other ones don't make sense. Oh, there's more over here. There's only one of you. I can't <laughs> just choose them all. <laughs> Think. Focus. All right, then maybe is this one? Or not? No, let go, let go. How do I choose one? They just want to put useless labels on it. Seems weird. <laughs> okay, okay. All 
All right. I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I said this conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Now, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imaginary friend? I had one at his age. If you had real friends, he talks to himself more than he talks to other people. You should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. The program's meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. But my son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I thought that was Joan at first, and I was like, oh. I'm ready. I just had the same haircut. All right, man, now that we're hopefully no longer having a panic attack at the side of the road, maybe, maybe we can progress. Maybe we can go a little further. Maybe not, maybe, maybe we're still in panic attack land. We are still in panic attack land. This is cool imagery though. I do I do like this whole aspect of the game. I think more than any of the other storytelling we've had. I think that this kind of like mind palace, especially the panic attack stuff, is by far the most interesting parts of the game. Mark, if you're still around, are you streaming later? Just out of curiosity. It's kind of pretty. Pretty area. Still around, not sure if you're streaming. Gotcha, gotcha. I never know if people are, like, lurking or, or uh, hanging out, so I... I try to never assume. Hey. Hey. It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. Well, there's K2 doesn't sound all that appealing, but you won't push through it. You know? <laughs> After that math problem it was all downhill. That was the Mark arc. That, we watched it happen. You've kept everyone at arm's length, especially Joan and Anna. But you're still here, still trying. That was the best part of the game, you're certain. I was just like, I was, I was listening from the other room and I just like heard you say, we c this is possible, we can do this with math. And then like, when I came back, you were like, no. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Oh, it was so, so funny. Um, did you highlight that? Because you definitely should. Uh, da, 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 da. Easy for people really to judge? It's easy for you to judge me from your space inside my head. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human, and there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope. 
Yeah, there's a no, reason why no reality kidding. is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. I feel like my subconscious is constantly trying to rationalize things and not like not not like ever scold me. <laughs> like I definitely try to think critically about things, but like my impulsive thoughts are usually not not quite so I don't know, mean. <laughs> Stop. I get it. I'm nervous. What if you make the wrong choice? Can I make a wrong choice? That's one I don't really have an answer for. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even now. My world may fall apart. You'd still be here. Of course. Though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. Oh god, you guys, what should we do? What should we do? Should we forsake our subconscious and just go with critical thinking? Or our, uh, uh, inner inner rationale our inner inner voice inner voice or critical thinking feelings or facts <laughs> what's it gonna be <laughs> i'm kind of on the fence here this is an interesting point of no return um i'm curious how much this would change the game like, is this something that if you come back and replay, there's a significant difference going forward? Significant difference going forward? Um, hmm. Hmm. I kind of think that the Mind Palace is, like, more interesting, but our subconscious has better ideas. We've been relying on that guy a lot. I don't know. Do you guys have any votes? I kind of like the idea of going on our own. Your subconscious did cause a car crash, so that's a good point. That's a good point. All right. You don't know the story, so you have no votes. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh... I, I low-key think that this subconscious personality is, like, a symptom of schizophrenia. And I... But the, the game has not given us any indication that that's true. He did... He, there was a medication that Sam was supposed to take that we didn't. I'm gonna choose the Mind Palace. I'm gonna... Let, let's, let's do it. The truth is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. Goodbye, our only friend. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. <laughs> Mongoose, that's really funny. I'm also place. ignorant, but voting really is as such as a right as an American. <laughs> <laughs> Voting as such is my right. Yeah. It's very funny. A 
Oh, sorry if you heard that. It looked like my mic picked it up. I cracked my knuckle. <laughs> I've got like the filters on that, so it's not supposed to pick things up that aren't my voice, but. Ah, well. I've noticed that sometimes, like, when I'm checking my VODs for sound levels, if I do something like, um, not even a cough, but, like, just some sort of, like, scoff, some sort of noise that that's not talking but is part of speech, if that makes sense, um, the mic will still mute it. Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Pretty cool. It's a built-in fil uh, filter for OBS. It works pretty well most of the time, but occasionally it'll pick up weird things, or like, especially if I am doing something while I'm talking, it won't mute it. Um, but it's, it's very nice for cutting out things like my AC. If Declan arrives, he's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here. Oh, we've been here before. This is where we started the game. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. I'm trying to go in. I did this last time, too. I, like, went out of bounds by accident because of the fence. And there it is. There's the door. No loitering. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. If we pace, does it count as loitering? Got our nice view of the town down there. In my, uh, in the town I grew up in, there was a, uh, a really nice park that I used to go to as a kid. And when you're up in the park, it's like on this big hill and you could see the whole city skyline from the top of the hill. And it, it was a, not quite like this, but it, it gave the same kind of vibes. <laughs> Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. You really scared me there. Uh, needed to clear my head. This has been a lot to take in. I think all that stress got me there, but I'm better now. I've got myself focused and together. I'm with you on this. It's good to hear you're back. I'm hoping this is the end of all this, one way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick, Dennis, I'm ready to see it end. should get back to finding those files. Yeah, let's get Any to the point. Yet? We don't have to waste time. Any luck. I can't we just got here. I guess she's been here for a minute. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. Something tells me that it's going to be up on this platform. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe not. All right. It's time for us to scan for anything we can click on. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Three? Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. <laughs> Sorry, catch him, nothing keyboard. <laughs> a 
precarious path out into the dark. I, Not um, a bad metaphor for my life. I say right hi now. to Carthage. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. Carthage, welcome into the chat. I don't see it. Burying it would be a lot of work for Dickie. Like, I would have put it in the emergency phone, personally. He's happy to be here. searched over there. Fine. Dickie's stash must be somewhere else. Where would I put it? Where else would I put it? In a tree? Under a rock? This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. Nothing. Up. Okay, all right. I don't know why I let this no. place haunt All me right. for so long. Come on. Is that like a street light? Oh yeah, it is, okay. So we already looked through here. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. But we can't go there, because that would be too... too much. But it won't let us go that way. We already clicked on that. We'll check this again. Oh, maybe it's the lower level? Nope, we can't click there. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Yeah. Okay, alright, alright, alright. She has this area covered. But we've already looked over there. The dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. Where else could it be? Not buried. We determined. Not in the trash can. Like, I would have, like, taped it to this. Is what I would have done. Just, like, stuck it on the inside. If we had to be, like, really... Really cautious. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. Ah... Come now, come now. Anna's already searched over there. Dickie's stash must be somewhere else. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go very, very slowly. I'll go all up and down the street. Yeah, 
gonna be very methodical about this. We're looking for the prompt. We're looking for the good old white dot. A precarious path out into the dark. Yeah. Not a bad yeah. metaphor for my life right now. But we can't, like, crouch down to look at that other spot. Also, just putting it in the cabinet would be too obvious, I think. Can't look under any of these benches. Can we go out here? Nope, we can't go around the outside. I was thinking, like, in the middle here, because the other ones have, like, the rocks covering it, but no. She's got that area covered. She's got it. You guys, this is driving me batty. Where could it be? Y'all, if you were a flash drive, where would you go? Oh my god. Oh my god. How many times did I look in this box? Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. Mark, there was a pun in this game earlier, and How I was like, I need a pun counter for when when you, you tell a pun in chat when everyone comes up in the game. Friends. Yeah, it was harder than you think. Why become a dirty cop? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> Uh, what happens now? So what happens once you have the stick? Hmm. Still thinking about that. You plan to kill us like Nick? I'll start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was I just thought it was an accident. That drunk fool Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. It turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? Mm, all of these, I, I, I am so checked out of this conversation. This guy, what? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, all right. You always seem to care about this town. It's history, it's people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis. That part wasn't supposed to happen, but here we are. 
and I'm done leaving behind loose ends. You asshole! Oh, God. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Oh, all right, all right. Mind palace. You know what? You guys, I need to think. Hold on, hold, hold, I, hold on, hold on. I need to think. All right, here we go. Everyone else, just like stop fighting for a second. I need to think. I have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. <laughs> I guess this I is like a single mistake. There are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick. He murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can this is like where I'd moves, have my subconscious to, to deliberate with. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. Examine option. Try going for his gun. Throwable rock. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. All right, between the gun and the rock, we got we've got some choices here. Okay. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Muley, it's time to give you your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. That's interesting that like we don't have our subconscious to talk to, but we have other people. <laughs> And that's just us. Our mute self. Alright, you guys. What do you think we should do? Should we uh, go for the gun? I think we should tackle. I think that going for the gun is going to get her shot. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. He still has it on him. You Welcome in, Mr. Blood. Yeah, no worries. I saw no him. good to anyone dead. Take it from me. Ah, I see. And then that's how we select. Okay. I think that's all the options. Okay. Okay. But how are you doing tonight? Well, welcome in. Let's see. Um, I think we should rush to help Anna. I think I'm gonna commit to it. I think the gun is just gonna get someone shot and hopefully no one else grabs it. It's the hope. Oh, I can this look. This is dangerous. I have to weigh my options carefully. No margin for error. Doing good. It's morning for you, so you're listening while doing chores. Nice. Well, happy Saturday. I've got some chores I gotta do tomorrow. I'm putting that off. I'm gonna let future Ray deal with that. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. I can keep him busy a bit longer. I'll be able to close in on Declan. Oh, okay. Uh. I could grab his gun, but that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. A bit longer. I'll be able to close in on Declan. Get up! Get down! Anna. Oh, she got shot anyways. All right. Declan can't see me. 
I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy the evidence. And since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Declan might attack me now. Declan might continue going after Anna. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. That man is a monster, and he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his track so far. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. Hmm. Declan might go for his gun. Show me the options. I will say the the menu selection is a little finicky. You have to stand in like just the right place. Um, oh, this is hard to read. If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. I think he's gonna go for Anna. Um... If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Let's think some more. We got We got it wrong last time, so... Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. How do I... ...reselect? That man is a monster. And he'll yeah. kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'd be traced back to him. Mm -hmm. And he's been covering his tracks so far. How do I go back? Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. If Declan heads this way, I should wait here and ambush him. I don't like that one. If Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. So we're attacking from either the left or the right, I think. We should either rush to the gun or he's gonna go for Anna. Um, 
I think he's gonna attack Anna. With his, with his fake, his illegal gun, not his service gun. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Let's do it. Let's commit. Give me the evidence now. You need another bullet? Wait. Here. Take it. <clears throat> Son of a bitch! <laughs> this is so tense. This is so tense. I think he'd go for the spare gun because he can't use a service gun. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. I'm like, he's got the second gun, so why would he? The only reason he'd go for that one is to keep us from getting it. What if I do the wrong thing? I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. That worked, but Anna's bleeding out. I need to take care of Declan quick. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. I could try calling for help. <laughs> Hold on, I need to make a phone call. Please put the gun down. Anna's it's really hurt. That ugly yellow phone may be the only way, way to get her help quickly enough. That big jerk's not stupid. Probably, probably keep an eye on that phone. I don't I don't like that option. That seems way too slow. Like it'll get her an ambulance sooner, but we'll get killed in the process. You have to save Anna. We you dragged, dragged her, her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Decker, Anna might have time, time to, get to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. I definitely prefer that. What should I do next? I could get behind cover. All right. Well, that sounds like a couple of options. Let's play a couple out. Uh, if we try to call for help, it will keep him distracted, so there is that. Uh, let's try dodging behind the tree first, dodge, see what this says. I'm safe for the moment, but what then? I'll lose sight of Declan, and he might focus on Anna. All right, so not not that one. Think some more. I think we'll probably end up doing the phone, even though that sounds ridiculous. It'll keep him occupied. Um... Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. That one seems like the worst option. Um, let's go for the phone i i guess i don't know i i guess going for the phone would none of these feel really me. good but if the phone gets damaged i might not be able to use it later let's do it <sighs> no one's coming to help you There we go. Bastard. No, no, no. Just stop the bleeding. Anna, can you hear me? I need you to stay with me. I need you to... Leaves no way to get help for Anna. I don't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. 
We did our best. But in the end, our character was just as much of a dick as he has been the entire game. It's just a flesh wound. She'll be fine. She'll pull through. She's fine. She's gonna be, she's, she's gonna be okay. She'll she'll be fine, right? Uh. Right, yeah, I was like, yeah, I mean, like, she's been shot once, but she won't die in the next five minutes, we can drive her to the hospital, but, you know, games. Just video games, doing their thing. Pass out any time, but bleed out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. You guys, we got the bad ending, I think. This is one funeral I can't avoid. We caused her death. I just want to, like, be crystal clear about that. We did this. I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring here. <laughs> you have a lot to answer for. Don't expect any sympathy from me. Uh I'm going to make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. Hmm. We make our own decisions, Bess, and we have to live with them. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. Should we go, when we, when we finish this, should we go back and try to, like, do the other ending? You can tell a lot about people attention. Oh, I feel so bad about for the dad. Oh my god. Well, I'm paying attention now. We're also making a lot of assumptions about how all these people are feeling. I shouldn't interfere anymore. Yes. <laughs> we have the option to talk, though. That's funny. I don't think talking is going to make either of us feel any better. Where was the dad? 
He's in the back. All right. Oh, he's over there at the casket. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to have this, that conversation. Had to take a phone call. A lot happened while you were gone. Yeah. Yeah. So Anna's dead. We got her shot. It was our fault. He looks so lost. This game doesn't want you to save Anna at all. It really doesn't. Um, like... I have a lot of feelings about how this shook out at the end here, and I'm going to try to, like, get my thoughts in order Ooh, before the game bystander. ends so that I can kind of talk about it all at once, you know? Uh, but I really, really hate that a corrupt white cop killed, like, the, the, the main black female character. Like, I just... I hate that they took that direction. Like, I know that there was an option with, Sam, like, we could have probably Sam, saved her if we had done things differently, but, oh, that doesn't sit well. I haven't heard from her since last week. Why? What happened? She ran away after she heard about Anna's. She just... she left. Do you know where she is? At my sister's. Sam, I don't even know what to do. She won't return my calls. Your calls? Kathy... You have to go talk to her in person. You think I don't know that? You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? She could stay with your sister for the time being. I know you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? <laughs> Someone Do her says a favor it. And forget about us for good this time. Ouch. I mean, this was maybe the inappropriate setting to bring that up, but also it's a little true. Tara. Sam, we really have to stop meeting like this. Did you change your hair? You seem different. I, uh, ditched the glasses. I'll leave them to it. Not the type of situation I can help with anyways. I'm saying this a lot. Oh, oh, oh this is the worst part. Oh, Joan's going to stay with her aunt. Okay. It should have been me. I'm so sorry. Joe, I'm... I'm you sorry. You promised. You promised you'd keep her safe. Yep, we did. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? 
Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should have. Have. My little girl. My little girl. I'm sorry. I just. I know you did all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. Hey, Minnie. Hi. Welcome in. We're, we're just finishing up um, uh, Twin Mirror. Anna did what she thought was right. She made How are difference. you? The town's better for it. The town could go to hell. I'm doing all right. I was I was doing much better until we got to the ending of this game. <laughs> And now I'm just like a little bit, a little mad, but um, <laughs> otherwise I'm doing great. It's day one of my vacation, so I'm just like pumped for the weekend, you know? But, but dang, this game though. Anna, Anna was, she was words. You spend your whole life devoted to them, yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her. I miss her. And, uh... And I don't think I have anything else. I feel like every game... I managed to give voice to the feelings of many of us here. Do you mind if I speak a little? I didn't know her as well as most of you. Of course, of course. Anyone can speak if they want to. I only knew Anna for a few years. But within that short time, she impressed me with her strength. She understood what really mattered wasn't herself, but something greater. The community around her, her friends, her loved ones. She was a true defender of the common good. The kind of person who's always looking after whoever is standing next oh, to her. Oh, I have so many thoughts that we're, we're going to get to them. Fearless. You only needed to look her in the eyes for a few seconds. Mind palace. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. Get into our mind palace. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common good. Good. Common 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 good. Game looks cool. Yeah, it's by the same people who did Life is Strange, if you're familiar with that series. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Oh, that's interesting. Get out the way, out the way. Life is Strange is an excellent series. I highly recommend it. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Left up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joe. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? 
who told Declan. Yabaru Brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. Common good. Interesting. All right, this took a took a bit of a turn here. Reserve my judgment for a few minutes. You liked it, yeah. The life is strange. I, I um, was, never her way. was definitely a, a turning was point in the genre the of storytelling games. Meant getting the truth out. Because Basswood meant more to her than her own life. We will honor her memory by keeping what she fought for, this community together. It's time for us to interrupt. It's the least she deserves. And hold him accountable. There's drugs in them hills. That would have been Nick's title for this article. He would have started with a self-deprecating tirade about how he couldn't resist the joke. It would have been a good opening. Oh, and then we're going to leave he and write the article. article. Okay. It would have been about greed, drugs, and lies. Nick was found dead on the side of the road. It was called an accident. It wasn't. All right. That's, I guess, it's hard to see that kind of twist coming when they already had, like, a twist, like, in the scene prior. Let me tell you a story about so the you don't... who murdered him and about the truth he died for. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia... A small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior, who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. Oh, how the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. I just like I'm just waiting to see where we go with this. Like it's hard it's hard for me to like comment on it anymore because I'm just like, all right, what's next? Where are we going? What's happening? That sounds like that was the most of it though. And the dream Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, let me turn this down a smidgen. So, so here's about saving Anna. It's pretty hard. You don't 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 tell me any like um, any stuff. I'll probably go back and and try it again, or I'll I'll look it up myself. But um, I I do want to talk about the the game generally it's just pretty hard okay yeah i i assumed that it must be like it can't be the easy thing but i actually have a big problem with that personally um you were thinking i might play it again off stream i might i might i um uh i don't know how i felt about this as a whole this game i think that i liked the build up i thought that the mystery element the um the you know murder mystery was interesting um my suspension of disbelief was 
it, it struggled as soon as we were standing over a dead body. Anna saw us standing over a dead body and had no suspicion of us in her mind. She was like, oh, you want me to trust you? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So, so that was a bit hard for me to swallow. Uh, and from that point on, I was like, okay, all right. Um, but having this slow buildup of this drug ring, getting more interesting, um, I really liked the side stuff with Joan. I thought that that was interesting as well with her like trying to run away. But having the turning point be the white cop shooting and killing the the black woman like it it just doesn't sit well with me when when we're, when police brutality and all of, all of these these issues that in society we're dealing with at least in, in the US with racism are so so real you know um, I think that I can see the game developers trying to trying to like shed light to that, but I don't think it does. I, I don't think it does that. I, I think it it does more of a disservice to how serious those issues are in real life. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting to it a bit, but that's that's where my brain goes as soon as I saw it as I was like, oh, God damn it. We've got the 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 black uh protagonist well not protagonist because we're not playing as her but she sacrifices herself in a sense to save the white guy who's been a dick this whole game like i i don't know i that doesn't i don't love that so i i feel i feel like anna should have lived regardless like i i think that it should have been flipped we should have been injured not her like just for the sake of the story um mongoose you don't think i'm overreacting okay well i'm i'm glad that i'm that that i'm not the only one th who's having that thought i think the other elements of the game were very interesting i liked the mind palace i thought that there were some earlier points in the game where we went into the mind palace to much more directly deal with our um uh deal with our panic attacks and i thought that was really cool where it's like you come up and there's a door and you have to like pick the right door based on whatever visual cues um and as you go through them things change and then and then you calm down and you come back to reality i thought that was cool um there was almost a uh a mental health aspect to this game with the drugs that when we woke up and we found the dead body or not the dead body we woke up in the hotel room and we had blood all over our shirt and there were drugs there was a, a pill bottle on the vanity that we had the option to take um which could have been some sort of like for schizophrenia with us having this like second consciousness that we're discussing with you know it's like it almost went that route but then it didn't so I don't know if those two things were connected, if those, if that medication was relevant at all. Um, there's more to societal, uh, discussing societal injustice than just playing it straight. Exactly. That's, that's my problem is that this game showed the injustice, right? But it didn't say anything about it. It didn't, it didn't make any statement. It just existed. Um, so comparing this game to Life is Strange and to um, uh, to Tell Me Why, I, story-wise, I think this is the weakest of those games that I've played from this developer. Uh, uh, sort of let, in your opinion, color didn't matter. It was just a matter of people uh, uh, in who left loose ends and needed to clean up. Declan was gonna kill them both, so it just happened that your main character is white. I, I, I see where you're coming from, but in our society, we can't take things that black and white. Um, <laughs> just not, not uh, uh, for, forgive, forgive my expression there, but um, I think that it's we, we it's hard to ignore that when there's this kind of 
situation, I think. Time to go to sleep now. Thanks for the stream. Have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just... Um, it's like when those statistics are real in our society and those are things that we're actively fighting against. Um, you know, we're having protests where this is actively something that we are culturally trying to change um it's it's hard not to take those those types of things into account um so yeah putting yourself in declan declan's place yeah yeah you wouldn't let anyone who knows about it live yeah no totally that's what the game was going for right that's totally what the game was going for the game was going for like both of these characters have to die the main character can't die so the other character has to be collateral damage right because like there's a chance that they'll live but there has to be some sort of casualty that brings this the 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 climax of the story down to this this lowering action right we have to have some sort of story plot line that that ties everything together towards the end right so i i see why it did that i see why that happened i just don't agree with the writing of it um i just think that it it could have used some revision um but yeah i mean i think that the game did some things really well and other things not so much um I'll definitely stew on it more. I don't really have much else to add beyond that. Just that, like, I just lost a lot of respect for the game once, once that happened. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'll probably look up either either I'll play the game again at some point or I'll look up the uh, the ending where she lives because I'm I'm very curious to see that I want to see how that's different when there isn't like a funeral, um, but it sounds like it's a pain to pain to get like you said so I don't I don't know if I'll I'll do that tonight but um, yeah I, that's that's all I got let me. Let me see who's around. Oh, we've got so many people to pick between. Let's let's go raid our good pal Saint Luf. I will say thank you for everyone who who hung around during this playthrough i i did have fun playing this on stream i think i i love this type of game i love this type of game where you get to pick different options you get to choose kind of the personality of the character that you're playing as right you can you can lean into like being a really compassionate character or being an asshole and you get to really make those decisions i just think that's so engaging as a player so like i love playing this kind of stuff i'm definitely gonna gonna be playing more games like this i'm very excited for life is strange true colors i will say that um very very excited um so I'm not sure what game I'm going to be playing next. I am going to be taking a couple of days off because I'm on vacation. However, uh, when I get back, we'll be starting up a new game. And that feels kind of nice. When we get back, we're going to start a whole new game. We're going to have a good time. But yeah, um, uh, Servlet, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate your conversation um, and, and, uh, and, and bits of discussion. Uh, always happy to have other other perspectives and looking at things in different ways. So, thank you for thank you for hanging out, Mongoose. Great to see you, and uh, and and Minnie, if you're still here, have a great night. Uh, Mark, if you're still here, also have a great night as well. I will catch you guys over at Mark's stream. Take it easy. <laughs>